Our God is God and God alone does life and breath and being give. We are God's work and not our own. The sheep that on God's pastures live. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Wednesday, November 13th. It's the 25th week after Pentecost and week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 81 and Matthew chapter 15, verse 29 to 39. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Alleluia. Psalm 81. Alleluia. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Take a psalm and sound the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. God ordained in Joseph a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard an unfamiliar voice say, I removed from his shoulder the burden. His hands were delivered from the pots. You called in trouble and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people and I will testify to you, O Israel, if you will listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you, neither shall you worship any strange God. I am Yahweh, your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people would not listen to my voice, and Israel would not obey me. And so I gave them up to their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had listened to me and walked in my ways. I would have quickly subdued their enemies and turned by hand against their adversaries. The God-haters should have submitted to me, but their punishment will endure forever. I would have fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey out of the rock. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 15, verse, beginning at verse 29. Now, after Jesus had left that place, he passed along the Sea of Galilee, and he went up the mountain where he sat down. And great crowds came to him, bringing with them the lame, the maimed, and the blind, the mute, and many others. He put them at his feet, and he cured them, so that the crowd was amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed whole, the lame walking, and the blind seeing. And they praised the God of Israel. And then Jesus called his disciples and said, I have compassion for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. And I do not want to send them away hungry, for they may faint upon the way. And the disciples said to him, Where are we to get enough bread in the desert to feed so great a crowd? And Jesus asked them, How many loaves have you? And they said, Seven, and a few small fish. And then ordering the crowd to sit down on the ground, <clears throat> He took the seven loaves and the fish, and after giving thanks, he broke the bread and the fish and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds, and all of them ate and were filled, 
and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Those who had eaten were 4,000 men besides women and children. And after sending away the crowd, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For the sick, especially Carol, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who've died, especially Margaret and Lloyd, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the Mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, that God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Be quick to come to our aid, O God, and let us never forget you. You are our God, and we are your people forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.